What's up, YouTube? Um, Manny Donut here. Make another video. Um, here's the tank of the stand. Just scraped off the all the paint and everything yesterday. Um, looks pretty sweet. There's no scratches on the display, the uh, on the front of the tank or any of the sides, but there is a little bit on on the sides, but. On the back, there's like a few hairline scratches, but I'm I'm kind of I'm okay with that because I'm gonna paint the back back black anyway with Krylon, so they it will be really hard to see them. So sorry if I'm stuttering. I don't know why, but I just can't focus right now. Um, here it is. It's a really high quality stand. Has good welds. made out of really good steel, it's powder coated, and yeah, it's something you can easily make a cover for, because what I plan on doing is making like a wood cover, so they can like push it over, push over the, push it over, and then like you can't see anything below it, but yeah, that's it, um, here's the 40, scraped all the paint off this too, and they were using this as a stock tank too over at my local fish store and I didn't really get the prices off but it says like Mimic Tang 39 Midas Blenny 50 Exquisite Rass 79 70 but uh yeah those are actually good prices so anyone who's not familiar with saltwater tanks those are good prices um so what's for filtration what I'm going to have is these two overflows, I'm going to drill the 40, this 40 again, put another overflow on the bottom, and they're going to both overflow into that tank, into another room, and then, like, that's right behind the wall, and as soon as it gets into that tank, it's going to flow down into another tank, my display, that's my display right now, and my 40, it's going to go through that overflow right there down into the other tank, which will be right below it. And I'm going to have that as my sump. Well, no, that's going to be my Fijium. This top part up here is going to have just one baffle and a protein skimmer in it. And then it's going to overflow down into the next tank. And I can keep my heaters in here and all that other stuff. I'm going to have power heads running all over the place so that way I get good flow in it. And um, as well keep like Kemi Pure Elite, all that stuff. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Because you always want to have the protein skimmer before. Unless you're only using it purely for its phosphate reducing needs and um, nitrate reducing needs. Otherwise you should always have the protein skimmer before if you're like using it for like a, keeping dragonets and stuff. You always want to have it last. So that way the pods go directly into the um, pump and get pumped directly back up to the display. But, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I have a little piece of hosing in there. I just put it in there because I didn't know where else to put it. Um, so this is the tanks. These are the tanks that came with it. It was only $125 for the set. And then they also threw in $210 worth of uh, premium live rock for me. Well, I got to choose whichever I wanted, and I decided to get the... Most expensive, of course. And, um, yeah. So they've already, they've already stress test did the stand. And it was, like, holding, like, 3,000 pounds. Or something crazy like that. So that's pretty sweet. Um. Everything looks good here. These overflows are cut well, but I might make them a little bit bigger. And they're not that big. I think they're like one and a half inch, the bulkhead size is. But, yeah, so if you guys can tell me like if you think that two one and a half inch bulkheads are good enough or what I should do. I think it will be, but I don't know. that I'm, I'm, I've been keeping saltwater tanks for a while, but, you know, I want to make sure I do this one perfectly right 
Because uh, upstairs right now I have a 40 and I'm running a canister on there. And you should only run canisters on freshwater tanks. So, that's how we need to do it right. Because I had to run that filter on there. Otherwise I would have had cloudy water forever. I'm having a little bit of a bacterial bloom in there right now. Because uh, I added all that live rock. And my snails are breeding like freaking crazy. Snail eggs all over the freaking place. But, so, that's the, those are the plans for the tank. Um, I want to go with black reef sand in here. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be working on this tank until like January. At the earliest. So, stick around. It's going to take me forever. I'm sorry, but... I just want to get this one done right, and yeah, I'm going to have an Odyssey fixture over this, 48 inch, 716 watt ADV, um, I think that'll be enough wattage for this tank, that's almost 10 times, uh, turn up, 10, time, 10 watts per gallon, so yeah, that's pretty sweet, uh, I have to go, uh, see you guys. Peace out. Later.